What is that? What the? Good morning, modern steaders. What are you guys doing in the goat hay feeder this morning? I heard the pellets falling on something. Good thing I decided to put the pellets in the feeder this morning before I let the goats out. <laughs> Good morning, girls. Good morning. Morning. I think I'm gonna have to pretend to drop in the alfalfa pellets. There they are, girls. They're in there. Look, they're already in there. See? There you go. They found them. Good morning, Buttercup. Willow is Buttercup's mom and Blossom's the outcast. I think by adding another goat to the herd, it'll help, whoa, it'll help change up those dynamics. A little bit of ice and I don't think, nope, it ain't gonna come out. So I'll have to dump hot water on it and melt it. Come on and figure out. You staying out or you coming back in? Huh? Come on in, mister. Come on in. Brisk three degrees out this morning, guys. It's a chilly one. Old man winter does not want to let us out of his grips yet. I hope he lets go soon, guys. I think we got some more snow coming in today. <laughs> and then I think some more this week too, guys. <sighs> you ready to go in, Figaro? Go in and get the New York City's grain. Ah, listen to those birds chirping. Morning guys, or ladies I should say mostly. Is that sun coming in the window feel nice? I bet it does. Moose, you're quiet this morning. Are you laying an egg for us honey? You got one under there? Ah, uh, yep. Thank you, and thank you. Nice, two eggs. I don't know if you guys can hear those birds chirping or not, but they're pretty loud this morning. Somebody asked in the comments, why do the birds chirping give me hope? Because all winter long, the birds have not been chirping. They haven't been here. So, to me, it's a sign of spring is coming because the birds are back. So, it's a good thing. You hear the birds, Pluto? You hear the birds? You wanna go back in? Need to run to the lumber yard and get some supplies for the pig house. And of course, it's snowing out again, guys. Ah, would you look at that? Ah, it's a little bit a little bit more snow on the roads than I thought there would be, guys.
Well, that was a weird little storm we had there. Now the weather's nice. I don't know where that snowstorm came from, but I'm glad it's over. We're back home. I'm gonna go inside, put some warm clothes on. I'll be right back. Look at that, even the wagon frame's got snow all over it now. Man. All right, so I picked up the one by decking for the decking and I picked up two four by sixes and they're gonna be the main braces that the decking sits on. I went with a six by six because uh, if you go with a four by four, it's not tall enough to clear the height of the wheel. So the four by six, we got the height perfect. And we, you could do a six by six, but I don't think you need the added weight of six inches this way or the added expense of buying a six by six. The four by sixes were 10 bucks cheaper than a six by six. Let's see. It's already got ice all over them, guys. Let's see how long they are. They're probably over eight feet. So we got 97 and a half inches. This one looks like it's been chewed off by a beaver. Oh, look at this end, guys. <laughs> Hopefully the other end doesn't look like that. We're gonna spin them around so we're cutting them off on the same end. They're calling for a wind chill today at 25 below zero. And I'll tell you what, it's cold right now when that wind blows, guys. Oh, old man winter. <laughs> All right. <sighs> if we can get these cut to length and attached to the wagon today with this temperature, we're doing good. <laughs> uh. So now I'm going to measure the distance from this bracket to that bracket and subtract it and make an even spacing on each end. And I was just looking to attach the brackets to these 4x6s. I either got to take the wheels off or take the brackets off. So 77 and a half minus 96. So that means we need nine and a quarter inches overhang of the four by six on each end. Nine and a quarter. Ugh. Nine and a quarter. Yep, half inch. So my thought is So I gotta cut a groove in here in my four by six deep enough 
so this can slide up and in and then we can bolt this on. I'm gonna have to flip this one over though, unfortunately. I don't wanna be right in a knot. I think that'll work. Didn't get lag bolts for here, but now I'm wondering if I should have. I ended up getting GRK's fasteners. They're three and an eighth inches long, so they're gonna go in pretty deep. We'll try them. Worst case scenario, I'll have to switch them out. These are supposed to be instead of using lag bolts. So we'll find out. Let's give it a good tap. Gloves aren't good for this, guys. <laughs> that sets it good. So I think it's gonna work out perfect, guys. That should do it, guys. Now comes the true test. Is everything lined up the way it's supposed to be? We'll find out. Slide it up. Woo! Oh, fits like a glove, like a glove. Oh, yes. <sighs> Guys, this is gonna be awesome. <sighs> we almost lined up. Where is it? You see the hole right here? Perfect. Oh. There we go. Oh. Getting that started is a little tricky. I like it. <laughs> this is going to be great. Yes. I like installing this first because then I can measure from the inside edge, 77 and a half, and that's the spacing. And then I know it's going to fit perfectly. There, that'll help start it better. All right, now we can measure and make sure we got the right spacing. These little things you take, you think take a lot of time, they don't. They save a lot of time in the long run. So now I know. I want to be on the inside edge of this line with my cut and leave the line. There we go. I'll hold it to this side a little bit. Flush everything up. Seat it in the 4x4 or 4x6 I should say. Give it a good little tap. 
tap. All right, let's try this again, guys. Let's see. I like it. Much better fit that time. <laughs> Get everything to line up. Oh, yeah. This is going to change how we do farming around here. <laughs> oh, there's going to be so many uses for this wagon design. I'm not going to get into that right now. Tomorrow, we'll talk more about that once we got the deck on there. Oh, this is going to be so good. I'll tell you what, the wind chill today is fierce, guys. Burr. I didn't know how securing them this way was going to hold up, but it's rugged. It's actually stiffened up the whole frame of the wagon. This not being welded was a little... There was some rigidity to it, but oh, there's nothing now, guys. Once we get the deck on, it's gonna be even more sturdy. I don't think we don't gotta worry about hitting anything, which is nice. This is gonna be a good design. Let's go inside, guys. It's a little cold out right now. Ooh, we're gonna need to warm up. You ready to go sledding today? Yeah. Think we're gonna go further? I hope we don't. You hope we don't go in the goat barn? Yeah. Maybe we start a new trail then. Yeah. Whoa, look at those icicles. They're all weird. On the roof? Yeah. yeah. Look how big this snowbank is. Huge. Ready? Yeah, I think so. You got cold feet, Pluto? <laughs> Let's go for it. We didn't go to the goat pen. If we were on that trail, we would have been that much in. Yeah, let's go check on the goats, and then we'll go sledding some more. Okay. You're like a little penguin. Yeah. Hey, girls. Oh, she knows you have treats. You girls know I got treats in my pocket. Yeah, no, you look pregnant. She does look pregnant, doesn't she? Yeah. Hopefully she is. Oh, you dropped it. Buttercup. Who got it? Willow. This side looks, oh, no, that, that side looks like there's a baby on it. Down. You want to give it to her? Yeah. Here, Willow. It's high with mittens on, huh? Yeah, you gotta like put it in your hand and go like that. Then they all want to get in. Yeah. All right, let's see. You girls have got plenty of hay for now. Look at all that hay. Hello. Hello. Yes, hello. All right, you ready to go slide in again? Yes, yes, yes. yes. yes, yes. Now we're going. Ah, I got slower down. We're going to go in the goat barn. Woo. Up there. That would not have been good. Hey, Hi. girls. Did you want some company? <laughs> hey, goats. They're saying we want to go sledding. Right. You think they'd have fun? <laughs> yeah. Oh! Right through the tree, ready? Oh, we just missed it. <laughs> that was a lot of air. That was a lot of air. I can't wait to see the GoPro. Yeah. Ready? <laughs> Bye! 
Oh, what that? happened? I think we must have rolled over our rope. Yeah, I think we did. That's a good break. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, okay. <sighs> oh, I went over my gun. No wonder why. Yeah, we ran over the handle mm -hmm. and it stopped us. Yeah, we... Hey, that works. That was a good run, huh? Yeah. Furthest so far. Better. All right, tonight for dinner, we're gonna make a chickard's pie. You're asking yourself, what's a chickard's pie, Al? Come on. I know, right? It's a shepherd's pie or a cottage pie, whatever you'd like to call it. But instead of using ground meat, we're gonna be using leftover chicken from last night's dinner and some of the leftover mashed potatoes. So first, I am going to dice up the onions. This has become my favorite way to cut up an onion. A viewer left it in the comments. You leave the root on the end, and then you slice down. But don't go all the way through. I'm going to do it the other direction. Spin it around so we don't have to worry about cutting our fingers. And then when you do your final cut, it's already diced. Wow, oh, this is so brilliant. I wish I was the one who came up with it. I got a pot over here that's been warming up with some olive oil in it. I'm gonna use half of my onion. I'm gonna mince in two cloves of garlic. pinch of salt. If I had celery, I would cut up some celery right now and I'd put a little bit of celery in, but I used it all up last night when I was making a bone broth. I'm gonna add in a can of creamed corn. I've got some leftover mashed potatoes from last night's dinner that we're going to add right on top. Guys, we got another beautiful sunset out there. Look how gorgeous that is. Man. It'll be even more gorgeous once we have green grass under that sunshine. I made some gravy to go with it too. Here's your chickard's pie, Livies.
I'm really looking forward to this new trailer system we're building. Whether we're gonna have a pig shelter on it, we could do a New York City on top of it, and we could just build a hay wagon on one. This is gonna be so versatile, especially for the small backyard pasture raisin farmer. Man, I'm so pumped and excited about making these trailers. We're gonna make this one. If the weather wasn't like how it's been lately with how cold and brutal it's been, you could build the trailer base and you could do the decking on it. And I want to say one day, if not one day, you could have it done on a Saturday or a Sunday. But <laughs> the weather we've been having, guys, oh, it just slows you down. Out working outside when it's 23 below zero and snowing. and oh. But I'm excited we're starting the project. If you guys have a dream that you want to do, don't let nothing stop you. If it's the weather, push through it. There's so many obstacles in life we just need to overcome them and we'll get there guys so thanks for coming along on our journey with us you guys are a true blessing to us in our homestead and we'll see you right back here in the next video at lumna acres a guide to modern homesteading self-sufficiency and freedom <laughs>